y'all it's Linda welcome back to my channel for today's video I am so freaking excited because khaki and finding Ferdinand came out with another new collection of cream blushes so I reviewed the first set last year which was called the summer abroad collection these have quickly become some of my favorite cream blushes of all time they are so creamy and dewy but they last for a really long time on my skin to let you know I do have normal to dry skin I am 43 years old so take that into account when comparing how this might react against your skin but the new collection is called après ski and it is just like ski chalet themed not gonna lie I am not a ski girly so I definitely googled like what's the vibe of après ski and I started looking at all these pictures of these gorgeous people dressed up at ski lodges like really to the nines and I showed it to my husband I was like okay so this is the vibe I want to go for when I'm like taking pictures and he was like so it's basically hot tub time machine and I was like it's basically hot tub time machine. Um, um, um. Is there some kind of retro thing going on this weekend? So in this collection, we do have three cream blushes, which are described as cool mauve beige tones, but we also have something new. So we do have two enhancers, and these are supposed to help you create that really wintry flush. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be trying all of these on, okay? I am going to do one on each cheek. So I think, I don't know, I'm going to do one color on each cheek. Let's say these two colors. Then I'm going to wipe that off completely and apply my foundation all over again. Then I'm going to apply the third blush color and then I will try an enhancer on each cheek. This collection also came with three glosses. So the other collection came with one gloss and I absolutely love it. That one was a gold with like a shimmer in it and this is like my dream color story with glosses, okay? We've got a nude, we've got a brown, and we've got this really sexy like wine tone. So I am very excited to get into this, but I do also want to say that Finding Ferdinand did give me a code for you guys, but it is only going to be good for one week. So this collection does come out on February 1st. This code will be available February 1st through the 7th, and you will get a significant discount off your purchase. I do believe it is 20%. I will leave all info in the description box down below, but if you use my code glitter fallout 20 you will get a discount and that is an affiliate code to be frank so if you do decide to use that thank you so much for your support on my channel but I am so excited to get into this now I have already done swatches of these I will go ahead and let me scooch over I'm going to show you the swatches right here they're all beautiful they are so 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 creamy and I was really kind of blown away by the two enhancers so they're definitely lighter these are not meant to be blushes on their own I mean I guess they could be if you want a very light tint but over top these really amped up like the shine and the dewiness now I am a dewy cheek loving bitch. So I am so, so, so excited about these. Also one other thing, these blushes, I do believe now, again, check the description box down below for all info. The blushes I believe are gonna retail for $28 each and the glosses for 26 each. That is the normal pricing. As there were with the Summer Abroad collection, I do believe that there are going to be bundled deals for these. So if there are, I suggest getting them all. Okay, let's try this. <laughs> So I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna save the color that I think is going to be my favorite for last, but we are going to apply these on the cheeks. Also, y'all would be very proud of me, okay? If you've watched my channel in the past, you know that I like keeping all packaging, and for these, I threw away the packaging, okay? It was very difficult for me. I saved the packaging on the new ones, but I'm going to be throwing them away, especially because I just ripped it. The brush I'm going to be using to apply all of these is the BK Beauty 106. I do have several of these. The enhancer I'm going to try applying with the Singe Beauty F06. This one is a bit more fluffy, so I think that'll make for a good topper. But this first shade that we are going to try is Sunrise. So this is a light, perfect mauve rose color. I think this is gonna be absolutely beautiful. So what I do with, with these is I put my brush directly in and I like to build these up, okay? So I only took a little bit, you can see the color there. We're gonna apply this one to this cheek. I'm gonna start off kind of high and light. I probably, because I'm going for that like flushed look, you know, like you just came in from skiing and you just want a little hot cocoa by the fire, I probably will bring this, yeah, I'm gonna bring this onto the apples of my cheeks and just really amp that flush up. This color is gorgeous. This color is so beautiful. Like I wanna keep piling it on kind of. It is so pretty. You can see like, oh my gosh, this is a great flush color. It's a fantastic flush color. Look at that. 
Oh, I really, really like this one. I want to keep like piling it on though. That's the problem. And I know I'm going to have to take this off in a minute, but look at that. So this is again, just your regular peachy moth. By the way, I do have contour on today. I don't have any bronzer or anything like that, but this color is so beautiful. Wow. This is, it's going to be a favorite. I can already tell. All right, the next color I want to try is a bit of a deeper one. So this shade is Dusk. Actually, when I say a bit of a deeper shade, it is quite a bit deeper. So you can see this one is kind of more on the wine, like mulled wine, berry kind of tone, but still really pretty. And something I found out with these. So let me just show you from the Summer Abroad collection. Was it this one? No, it was this color right here. This color is Aperitif and it scared the shit out of me. Look at that. That is red that is straight up red and I love it. I wound up loving this so much. I can't, I don't know if you can tell how much I've used of it. So I did realize that finding Ferdinand blushes should not scare me, even though this one worries me a little bit. It worries me a little bit, but we're going to do this. So I'm going to use the same brush. I'm taking off all the pigment uh, from my Sigma switch. You can see it is all gone. And again, this one I'm going to build up slowly because this blush looks quite intense, but it is really pretty you can see it there and we are going to see on this cheek so okay good so you can definitely build this color up it does not have to be super intense this one is definitely more vibrant if you will oh these blend so easily too like there's no patchiness and again i do have more dry skin but these have no patchiness look at this Woo! I probably made that a little bit intense, but if you know what, you want to be honest, this is kind of the color that my face actually gets when I've been in the uh, really cold weather. It gets very, very flushed right here. So that's actually really, really pretty. Look at that. And again, these all have, I don't want to call it dewiness because it's not dewiness, but it's not completely matte either. It definitely has like a tiny bit where it catches the light just right. But these look so natural. They look so natural and they go on so easily. Look how pretty that is. Again, this is not a color that I would normally gravitate to, but I love that you can continue to build these up like this. I built way up and this I went in very sheer and they're so pretty. Like it wouldn't be that weird if I wore this out like two separate blushes. I'm not going to do it, but it wouldn't be that weird. So there we go. We have the first two blushes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off, reapply my foundation, and we are going to try the final blush, which I think is going to be my favorite, called High Noon. And then we'll put the enhancers on top of that, and then we will try the lip glosses. So I will be right back. All right, foundation is back on. I used the same exact foundation that I used before, the same method. This color, this is High Noon. This is the perfect middle point, I think, between that really like pale rosy mauve and then that deeper kind of wine color. I think this is going to be my favorite. Maybe I'm wrong, but we are going to try. This is a new clean brush and I'm going to apply this the same way. This one is going to go on both cheeks though. And then we are going to put that enhancer on top. This one looks pretty intense actually. Maybe it's not, but let's see. I'm going to dot this on same way I have been just kind of pouncing it with my brush. Oh, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love this one. I love this one. This one is my perfect like winter flush. And again, I personally like to apply my blushes kind of close to my eyes and also on the apples of my cheeks. So you apply it however you want, but I feel like this gives like I said, the kind of flush that I actually get when I've been outside. Oh, this is so pretty. Yeah, this is this is probably my favorite. I don't know. It's between this and what's the lightest one actually called? Sunrise. It's between high noon and sunrise. But look at this. <gasps> I'm going to put a little bit right on the bridge of my nose too because that's definitely where I get a little like wind chapped. Oh, look at that. Look. Oh, I love this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this. I love it. I love it. Okay, so this is high noon. These feel so good on the skin too. By the way, they like set down. It doesn't feel dewy or, you know, like it's going to go anywhere. These last on me quite a long time. I don't powder them down. Now, I'm not sure how that's going to be with the enhancers because since these are a more dewy finish, these last two, that might make your blush not last as long, but you never know. So we have two colors. The first one it's so funny. These look so intimidating in the pot, but once I swatched them, I felt better. We have cozy. This looks so dark, right? Like so deep. It is 
proper like Cabernet Sauvignon color. It is a deep wine. So I'm going to take this kind of fluffier brush. Again, this is the Singe Beauty F06. And I'm just going to take a little bit of this and I'm going to apply this kind of almost like I would a highlight on the tops of the cheekbones, not right under the eye, but on the tops of the cheekbones, just so we can see that flush. Actually, I might wind up applying this all over the blush. So you do not need a light hand with this. I always feel like I do because it looks so intense and deep, but I'm really like digging the blush in there. And oh, uh, there we go. There's the color I was looking for. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. She went a little crazy. I got a little too close to my nose with that one. So I'm just kind of like pouncing a little bit of that away with the foundation that was left on the sponge. But I feel like you can tell, I hope you can tell, it definitely punched this look up a bit. Now it didn't overtake it. It didn't really drastically change the color, but it definitely gave that flush and there is more of a glow. I feel like you can tell right there. It just looks healthy, it looks healthy. And I, oh, I really like it. Look at these rosy cheeks, who is she? Taking that same brush and cleaning it off and we are gonna go into this other color. This one looks even more intimidating chilled. Look at that. Like it almost blends in with my black t-shirt here. This is a deep, deep berry color, but don't be too intimidated, intimidated by it like I was. Okay. I am, I had admittedly like digging my brush in there quite a bit. So let's see, this is really probably going to punch up. Yeah. This kind of brings the tone down, which is cool. Like it brings it into like a deeper tone, but you get, oh, look at that. Like right on the apples of the cheeks. I feel like that's really ski chalet. Oh, I don't know. I'm liking this. <laughs> I'm liking this a lot. I'm going a little crazy with the blush, admittedly, but I really, really like these and I love this formula. Do you see also, again, it gives like that very natural glow, but I was worried that these would feel sticky. They don't. They're setting down quite nicely. And look at that. Like if you really rub your finger in these, you can see, like, do you see the shine on that? It's so, so pretty. It is so pretty. Oh, okay. Which one do we like better? Do you think I look like a clown or like somebody who's a little wind chapped? I don't care because I love it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and try the three glosses. Now, the one that I want to try the first out of these three glosses. So look how beautiful these are next to each other. We do have a very pale nude, not very pale nude. We've got like a, a my kind of nude. We've got a deeper brown color and then we've got this color which is mulled wine. I'm going to try the one that puts me out of my comfort zone the most first and that is the mulled wine color. It is actually called mulled wine. Now all three of these are scented and they smell like freaking heaven. So mulled wine smells like mulled wine. Okay. Hot cocoa smells like hot cocoa and this one which is called Cafe Noisette smells like hazelnut coffee. I have a feeling I'm gonna need approximately 87 backups of this one because I've already done the swatch and smelled it. It is the greatest thing on earth. We're gonna save that one for last. So first, I'm gonna take this lip pencil, okay? This is the BK Beauty uh, pencil and the shade is Alter Ego. And I'm only going to do a very light lip line because I just want the glossy lips to stand out, but I don't want the gloss to go all over my face. I'm not sure I've ever done a lighter lip line, but we're gonna try this. Now, the reason this scares me is because when it comes to bolder colors like this, I get nervous with glosses because glosses on me, again, I'm 43 years old, they have a tendency to travel a little bit. So when they're deeper like this, it freaks me out a little bit, but this is so pretty and it smells so good. It smells like mulled wine. It smells like coziness. Oh. Why was I so worried about this? <laughs> Guys, this is beautiful. Oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous. This is not red at all. Like, look, okay, so this is brick red and maybe if you layered it, it could be brick red, but this is, this is so beautiful. This is, I can't stop staring at myself. I said that the other one was gonna be my favorite. Did I just apply my favorite first? Oh my God, oh, I don't wanna take it off. I don't wanna take it off, I love it so much. Oh my God, I love it, I love it. <laughs> Guys, I love this lip shade so much that I just took like 84 million selfies because it's real cute. Okay, so again, this is mulled wine. I'm taking it off so I can try on the other ones. Okay, this next one I'm gonna try on. It's so interesting. So this color is called Hot Cocoa. If you know me at all, I'm allergic to chocolate actually, and this smells so heavily like chocolate, but I did confirm with both Khaki and Finding Ferdinand, this has no cocoa in it, so I should be fine, but I am gonna be trying this one on, showing, and then probably taking it off because like, 
I just want to give my lips like a chance to show it, but I don't want to eat it. It makes me anxious. So again, I'm going to apply a touch of lip liner. This is probably the one I'll use for the final one too. This is just Cinnamon by Melt, my all-time favorite lip liner. Again, just a very light lip line. This color is so pretty. It looks, again, really deep, but it's not scary. This is so beautiful. So this is like a cool tone brown. Now I probably used too warm toned of a lip liner if I'm being honest. I think I did and I think I'm gonna switch that for the next color, but these are so shiny. They're just so shiny and they feel so good. Like it's a lip gloss. I don't expect them to last all day, FYI, but it just feels so lovely and like look at that color that, like, that's juicy and also this smells like hot cocoa and people always ask me like hey, you're allergic do you you know did you ever try chocolate yes because I wasn't allergic until I was like five six years old so there are very few chocolate things that I remember and hot cocoa was one of them and I think it's the greatest smell that has ever existed on this earth okay I'm gonna take it off I don't want to and the final shade, I am going to use the Melt Lip Liner in um, Bare. Is it Bare? Yes. And again, I'm just doing like the thinnest line. This shade is going to be my favorite. I already know. So this shade is called uh, Cafe Noisette again, and it smells like hazelnut coffee. And it is the most, for me, shade, perfect nude. And it smells like hazelnut coffee. Can I keep saying that? Because hazelnut coffee is one of my favorite smells on this planet ever, ever, and look at it. Look, look at it, it's got sparkles. New favorite gloss of all time. I'm throwing it down there. For me, this is my new favorite gloss because it is so perfectly glossy, but it has that brown tinge, but it has a little bit of sparkle to it. And it's, again, it's thick enough where I don't expect it to last all day, but I also don't think it's gonna go away in the next 10 to 15 minutes. It is so pretty. My lips look so juicy. Like, what do you like better? Okay, because for me, I'm shocked that it's between mulled wine and Cafe Noisette. Like, but this one smells better. This one smells like freaking heaven. So that is it. You got to see three blushes, two enhancers, and three glosses all tried on and showed you how they all look. What do you guys think? Is this a collection you're planning on buying? Just a reminder, it comes out February 1st and my code GLITTERFALLOUT20 will save you money, but only until February 7th. So you will want to jump on that quickly. Make sure you set an alarm and really jump on it because these, the other collection, the Summer Abroad did eventually sell out. So these are limited edition and you will want to jump on them. I love it so much. These are just going into my rotation as like, perfection. <laughs> Thank you so, so much again to both Khaki and Finding Ferdinand for sending these over to me. I feel so thankful to have them and I love them. I can't believe how much these set down and how comfortable they are. But if you like this video, it would mean the world to me if you'd give it a thumbs up. That really, really helps out my channel. All of this info is going to be in the description box down below. You'll have links. You'll have a link to Khaki's reveal video where she talks all about this. Congratulations to Khaki. Just check that box out and all of your questions should be answered there. You all can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Those are all glitter fallout. And as always and forever, you are super freaking rock stars. I love you so much with my whole heart and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.